Stop trying to be liked by everyone. Stop trying to be liked by your clients, by your followers, by your mentor, by the people in your mastermind. Stop trying to be liked by everyone and start liking you. This is something that I have been working on for all of my life and especially diving into 2022 where I had realized that my next level was just me loving me. And the more I stopped caring about what other people thought of me or what they said of me or if they validated me and I just started becoming obsessed with who I am, the more other people came. It's like, can you move first and then your clients, your customers will follow? Someone recently asked me, how do you get so many people to invest in you? And I said, because I invest in me. People invest in me because I'm invested in me. Earlier this year, I read this book. Actually, it was January of this year. So it feels very fitting as we come to the end of this year. It's almost December at the time of recording this video. I read this book, You Have Nothing to Prove. You have nothing to prove to anyone. I know it can feel weird. It's very natural to want to be liked by the tribe. You don't want to be ostracized from your community. But a leader's job isn't to be liked by everyone. Leaders have to make hard decisions. Leaders have to use their voice. Leaders have to show up. Leaders have to continue on even when the storm is going. Leaders are at the front of their ship steering the crew even when there's massive tidal waves coming at them. No one ever said leadership was going to be easy. No one ever said it was going to be something that it's just, it's just, you're, you're, you're leading thousands of people, hundreds of people, and it's just amazing and everyone likes you. No. When you start leading more people, there are going to be people that seriously hate on you. That's okay. I have never met a leader that doesn't have a huge following but also doesn't have a huge amount of haters. Stop trying to, for everyone to like you. Not everyone's going to like you. You have to like you, especially when you're on the internet, especially when you're posting every day and you're putting yourself out there. You have to be in this energy of, I'm, I'm going to post this knowing that you're going to get people that don't like you. Are you okay with what you say? Do you stand behind you? Do you stand behind what you're selling? Do you stand behind your messaging, behind what you're saying? At the end of the day, that's all that really matters. I literally lived in people pleasing my entire first year of my business. I wanted all of my clients to be happy. I wanted them to like my programs. I wanted them to like me. And it didn't help me. It resulted in me being stressed. It resulted in me hand holding. It resulted in me like trying to do everything for everyone. And then I let go of that and I said, screw this. I have nothing to prove. I'm going to stop doing this. And birthed the real version of myself, where I use my voice, where I show up, where I take action, where I actually love who I am and I'm proud of what I've done where I feel like what I've done is enough and also knowing that I can do more. There are days, even to this day, where I feel like I'm not enough. I'm not doing enough. But we have to be willing to let that go. We have to be willing to say, you know what? I, I'm ready. I'm ready to feel whole. I'm ready to feel satisfied with what I have. So can you take out your journal or whatever, write it in your notepad on your phone and write down everything that you're grateful for today. 
how can you expect to bring in more if, you, if you're not grateful for what you have today? I'll do it with you right now. I'm so grateful that you're listening to this. I'm so grateful that you are in the Freedom Queen movement. I'm so grateful that I have clients that buy for me every day. I'm so grateful for these nails. I'm so grateful that I live in Costa Rica. I'm so grateful for all of the challenges that have come up over my life that have literally felt like they were going to break me in half, and yet I still prevailed. I still stood back up again, and I did it anyways. I'm so grateful for the moments when I felt like quitting, and I didn't. I'm so grateful for the moments where I was on my hands and knees, sobbing my eyes out, and I still stood up again, and I said, I'm going to keep going. I'm so grateful for this beautiful bedding that I have in this house here. I'm so grateful that I have a family that just visited me in Costa Rica. I'm so grateful that on Wednesday I'm going to New York City. I'm so grateful that I just worked out in the gym with a, um, that I have a personal trainer. I'm so grateful that I just got this new tripod. I'm so grateful that I had a protein shake. I'm so grateful for this fake plant sitting next to me. So grateful for the cross I wear around my neck, for the computer that allows me to talk to you, for the cell phone that allows me to make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars from every single month. So grateful for the hair on my head, for language that I can speak, for clothing that I can wear. What are you grateful for? many parts of my life that I have today, I dreamed of having. I dreamed of having this many parts of my life. My whole life, I dreamed of having. I dreamed of having a relationship. I dreamed of feeling beautiful. I dreamed of being super healthy and fit. I dreamed of having a cook. I dreamed of having a personal trainer, of living in Costa Rica, of running my business, of traveling the world, of hosting retreats of making $50,000 plus per month. I want you to just bask in awe and the wonder that you've done so far in your life. I want you to bask in everything that you've created for yourself. I'm so proud of what you've done. I want you to be proud of what you've done and quit looking for everyone else to like you and celebrate you. Can you like you and celebrate you? Can you be proud of what you've done thus far in your life? The reality is, is that you are going to live an extraordinary life. I truly know and believe it. I want you to just take a moment and pause before we go into your next chapter and adventure. And you, say, you just say to yourself, oh, I love you. And I'm so grateful for everything that you've done. And I'm also so excited for your next level. Okay. Freedom Queen, if you got value from this, like, subscribe, share it, review it comment, do what you got to do, and I will see you in the next one.